Hey, Potter. What do you want, Malfoy? Professor Snape wants to see you in his office. He says it's time for your remedial potions lesson. <laughs> right. That's the thing with you, Potter. You think you're so clever, but you can't even work out which end of the cauldron to light the fire under. <laughs> Late again, Potter. Have you been practicing? Yes. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Wand out, Potter. Enough! Your lessons are at an end. I get out. My friend George want to see you. They're on the fifth floor. Are you all right, Harry? Yeah. Let's find Fred and George. Slytherins are supreme. I don't think. If I didn't have to open, I'd leave you out here, Potter. Not you again. waiting for us on the fifth floor corridor. Fred and George are waiting for us on the fifth floor corridor. Hey Fred, George. Is anything the matter? We've had a tip off. Umbridge found out it's us who provided the little presents that have been left for her. What are you gonna do? I've always felt our futures lie outside the world of academic achievement. I've been thinking the same thing myself. Everything is set. The swamp is in place. Just keep your eyes open and your heads down and get to the entrance hall. You'll have the best view from there. Let's start the show with this swamp box. I think a little incendio or a ducto will do it. Haven't you set the swamp box off yet? Go on, I'll keep lookout. Haven't you set the swamp... Hurry up! Just imagine I'm looking the other way and do whatever you're doing. Just imagine I'm looking... Everything is set. The swamp is in place. Everything is... 
This is going to go down in history. I can't wait to see Umbridge's face. I can't wait to... I do believe this is where we leave, Fred. <laughs> Accio Brew! Save it, our entire stuff. It's worth it. I'm just the space will be priceless. Voldemort has Sirius. I saw it. But what had Voldemort meant for you to see? To get to you? What if he did? I'm supposed to just let Sirius die. The chimney in Umbridge's office. We can use the flu network to get to Sirius. Come on. You were going to Dumbledore, weren't you? Very well. The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. No, it's illegal. Even Minister Fudge. Tell her, Harry. It's not worth another student dying. What isn't? I knew Dumbledore was planning something. A weapon, then, is it? <laughs> Take me to it. Well, where is this weapon? There isn't one, is there? You know, I really hate children, but... If it falls to me to tie up the loose ends, I will do what must be done. You, you have no business here. This is a ministry matter. Frutigo! Frutigo! Filthy half-breed! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> Serious. 
Yes. Come on. Thank you, Grop. But, Harry, how exactly are you planning to get all the way to London? Let's just get back to the castle. It's Malfoy! Look out! It's Potter! Leave him and his mudblood friend to me! to get to London. Sirius is in trouble. How are we going to get to London? We? Look, it's not that I don't appreciate... You don't have to do this all by yourself, mate. Dumbledore's army was about doing something real. Or was that just words? We don't know how to get to London anyway. We fly, of course. This is the place I saw in my dreams. The place Voldemort has been trying to get into. Where they're keeping the weapon, the Death Eaters one. The door is at the end. Harry! We have to find Sirius. Row 97. He should be here. Harry, what if he never was here? What if Voldemort tricked you into thinking you saw Sirius? This has your name on it, Harry. The one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches, and the Dark Lord will mark him as his equal, but he will have power the Dark Lord knows not, and either must die at the hand of the other, for neither can live while the other survives. <laughs> Over there! 
Potato! Potato! It was foolish of you to come here, Tom. The auras are on their way. By which time I shall be gone, and you... dead. Dumbledore! <laughs> and this is the greatest wizard of his age! Good will not be defeated! Be 
destroying a man, and fates worse than death. I will kill you now, old man. Then again, if your own death means nothing to you. Voldemort? Harry, stay where you are! Perhaps... Friendship, or loyalty, or love, or real happiness, and I feel sorry for you. I saw him! It was Voldemort! He's back! As he said, neither can live while the other one survives. It means one of us has got to kill the other in the end. Yes. I'm sorry about Sirius. The papers are reporting Voldemort's return. Even the prophets had to admit he's back. Are you all right, Harry? I've been thinking. Even though we've got a fight ahead, we've also got one thing Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. Mm. 